There it is. Hey, thank you for pushing the play button to see and hear what Blue has to say to hopefully inspire you or someone you know today on Wednesday, Words of Wisdom. So I am at my favorite spot to make it generalized, the park. It is a beautiful 73 degrees here in Michigan. Um, so we've got a lot of noises going on, um, a lot of different activity, but we're gonna try to stay focused. As mentioned on my community wall, about a week ago now, I had a phone conversation with another uh, YouTuber. And she had said some things and I said, oh, that's good. Do you mind if I use that um, for Mental Health Awareness Month? And she was like, yeah. But I wanted to make it more personal to some of my experiences, to some things that have led me down a road of not being mentally and emotionally stable. During the phone conversation with this wise young woman, she said something along the lines of, she's dealing with the weight of her own tongue. And that thing hit me. But every time I try to write down what I thought I'd want to present and bring to the platform, it was like, no, just freestyle it. Because I've dealt with so much weight of my tongue and saying things about myself. In the spiritual, there's a verse that says, death and life, you often hear it, life and death. But death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life, weight of my tongue. There was a time shortly before I actually began creating content, which has now almost been a year. And I talk about this in other videos where I didn't like to see myself. So I went through the house and I covered up every mirror. Or if I was in someone else's home, I avoided the mirrors in my own home. In my own home, I covered the mirrors. During that time, I was doing praise and worship at a church. And I said, I don't want to do it anymore because I don't want to be on camera. Before that time or what led to that, I was in the habit, the bad toxic habit of looking in the mirror and telling myself, I'm worthless, you're nothing, I'm nothing. Look at you, look at your scars. Look at your fat, chunky face. L look at you. How could you love yourself? You're despicable. Your husband says he loves you, that he loves to look at you. He's supposed to say that he's your husband. He doesn't mean it. You're hideous. You think because you finished school or because you're about to finish school that 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 you're you're something? You're nothing. You think because 
God hasn't taken you out of here, that you're meant to be here, your life is worth nothing. What is your point of even getting out the bed? You're fat, you're sloppy fat. I'll get back to the sloppy fat in a minute. You're not good for nothing. You've got nothing to say good for yourself. You, 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 what is the point, Blue, of your existence? My own tongue speaking death. <laughs> and now I look in the mirror and I say the total opposite I look in the mirror and I love me I look in the mirror and I say blue I love you I say girl you 44 you got it. Yeah, you've got some things that you need to change, but you've got the power to change them. It was soon after that, that positive affirmation came into play. See, because I was always affirming myself but in a negative way. I was always affirming myself, but in a toxic way. I was always affirming myself, but I was adding weight to myself. Heavy, heavy weight. So when I learned positive affirmation, I was still adding weight to myself, but it was weight and strength. Make it make sense, Blue. Fat, this is heavy, it's weight. But muscle, Google it, weighs more than fat. Still weight, but it's a different type of weight. So the weight I was putting on myself with my tongue shifted. During the time of my affirming negative affirmation, I was sick. I believed every word that I said about myself. Sloppy fat. I was in a store one day. I had a cart full of fruits for my hubby and vegetables for myself. And I walked by and I heard someone say, she's sloppy fat. I wonder who she's buying those vegetables for. They can't be for her. I pushed my cart to the side, left it there, got in my vehicle, drove to McDonald's, bought a bunch of food, went home, sat behind a closed door and ate until I was sick. It wasn't that what that person said bothered me. The part that bothered me was that I believed it for myself. It's something I would have said to myself before I heard them say it. See, my issue wasn't with the idiots that said it. The issue was that I believed it so much so that I left that cart there and went and got the most unhealthiest fast foods and stuffed my face. What they said is what I really believe, so I may as well continue to be sloppy fat. Mind you, at this time, 
I had already went through a weight loss of 60-ish pounds. Yeah. But it was how I felt about myself. It was the things that I had said about myself that when I heard that, it added to the weight that I had already put on myself. The weight of your tongue. Believing what you're saying about yourself, even though it's negative. What helped me get out of that wasn't just positive affirmations, but it was tapping into what I knew God said about me. His <laughs> shit. It was what I knew God said about me. In the comment section of this, I'm going to put a song I encourage you to listen to. If you're an individual that struggles with who you say you are, this song will prayerfully encourage you to believe that you are who the creator, the person that molded you and made you, you're who he is. You just have to say it and speak it until you believe it. Affirmation is what you say to yourself about yourself. And be repetitive with it when it's positive. See, I was repetitive about all the wrong things because that stuff that I looked in the mirror on a daily and said about myself was bull crap. And it didn't matter that hubby was like, baby, you're beautiful. I love you the way you are. You're making the changes you want to make. It didn't matter. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. When all the while hating myself and telling myself with my own mouth, with my own words, with my own mental instability. Telling myself all the opposite, not believing him, not believing anybody else that said anything that, oh, that's nice of you to say. But in my mind, that's not really me. So I changed the weight that I was putting on myself. And I look back at the things that I said. I look back at the things that I wrote down because I wasn't just speaking this stuff, speaking this weight on myself with my tongue. I was using my hands to journal how I felt about myself and I had to take that stuff and burn it and replace it with the good weight, with the strong weight, with the mighty weight, with the weight that no one could destroy, not even myself. See, that's the thing. We so often focus on what others are saying about us. In the end of the day, and blue's not all the way there yet. But at the end of the day, it's what I say about me that stands. It's what God says about me that stands. I didn't create myself. How dare I allow myself to be emotionally and mentally unstable because of what I'm saying with my own tongue. <laughs> so where I once cried, I can laugh now. Where I once huddled in a corner with food, I'm free. Hey, I'm free from that now. And it didn't happen overnight. And it didn't happen over 30 days. It took time. That's my story. Do you have one? 
you have a story? Is there something that you've told yourself in 2024 alone that you're carrying around with you and it's weighing you down? Could it be time for you to fix what you're saying about yourself? Because in my experience, what I was saying about myself, I begin to live that. And I begin to see others that way. Listen. What I spoke about myself with my tongue, I begin to live that. I begin to breathe that. I begin to feel that. And I begin to look at others that way. Yeah, I did that. Blue did that. And Blue did that very well. Y'all think, well, I'm not going to say y'all think, but for anyone that thinks that, oh, she's 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 this way and this is what we see. I, th th this was not always my, my, my. This was not always. But it was always in there. It was buried. It was buried. So for this mental health awareness video, for this word of wisdom or words of wisdom Wednesday, my words of wisdom to you is, have you been weighing yourself down with the weight of your own tongue. If you can say yes to that, could it be time for you to consider turning that negative, heavy, heavy fat into positive muscle? And if you can say it's time, consider starting today. Because your mouth of what you say back to yourself is going to stop that negative crap from being exposed and getting rid of it. And your manifestation is being blocked because of your own weight put on you by your own tongue. This is all my story, my opinion. Be it unto you according to your own faith and your story and your opinion about yourself. And take heed to what I'm saying, not because Blue said it, but because you know it to be true for your own life. And that it may be even confirmation of what you've already heard before. I pray, I hope, I'm confident that this will bless you and that it will encourage you, inspire you, motivate you, edify you, uplift you to make the proper changes you need to make for you before you run out of time and before you weigh yourself down with so much stuff that you can't get back up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Happy journey.